time to do a little bit of work inside Cartoon Animator. I just made a new prop and I want to test it out here. First thing I'm going to do is grab our background and you can see here's a nice view of Ocean Park. Over here in the background this is Repulse Bay. I'm just going to make sure this video background works and you can see just awesome. Anyway, let's continue on here. We'll stop this and we'll get to the first keyframe there. Now I want to bring in my prop that I just made and I want to have a look at it see what it looks like and we'll have a look real quickly here it's going to resize it for me okay here's our prop here and you can see it's transparent I'll leave information in the description about how you can get this for free and just look at that it just looks really good you can see someone can just stand out there and like watch what's going on and there we go looks really good now I just want to move this down a little bit and overall this prop looks really good let's have a look at it and that's really cool that's awesome and you can see here in the background this is Repulse Bay nice area to hang around and relax this is uh, one of the views from Ocean Park beautiful place to hang around but there's a lot of changes I'll be putting up a video about Ocean Park later and what I saw when I was there Anyway, this looks really good. I'm happy with the outcome of this. Now I'm going to take one of our characters here, and just for the fun of it, and let's just choose someone that's interesting here. And I've bought a lot of stuff over time. Cast and crew, and I like this guy, Castaway Fred. So he's going to go for a little bit of a walk through here. Video backgrounds are very good to use if you can make one yourself. Just take your phone and just enjoy using your phone and take a video of it. Now, Control Z, I'm just going to stop that. I forgot to bring it back to the first frame. Always remember to do that or you end up redoing things just like I just did there. We'll bring out a Castaway Fred there. And it looks like he wants to go down to the beaches there. And there we go here. Now he's a little bit too big. Make him a little smaller. And there you can see here. Now animating characters inside Cartoon Animator can be difficult or it can be easy. If you use the pre-made animations, it's very easy. Just go down here and you pick your animation. Now he's going to be moving. So we're going to go into motions. And he's a side-facing character. So we need to go into humans and side-facing and then we want him to move and then you can just choose what you want him to do you can have him run you can have him walk you can do a lot of stuff i'm going to have him just walk bring him back a little bit you always need to make adjustments to things you get to test them out first then you get an idea of how things work with the software anyway we're going to start with number one here and we're going to continue on and you just got to estimate to where he is on the screen when he's walking. Just click along here, maybe 10 or 15 times. And we'll just have him walk across the whole screen. I lost count. I wasn't paying attention. So I'll just estimate and guess where he is. So he's about the middle right now. And we'll just keep moving him across the screen. Takes a little bit of time. If you want to do custom animations, it takes a lot more. You can always change things with Cartoon Animator, nice and easy. I'm working in Cartoon Animator 4, by the way, just a lot more simpler, and it doesn't seem to freeze up my computer as much. And I'm using G2 characters, which also makes it a bonus when I'm using Cartoon Animator 4. Cartoon Animator 5, I'll talk about that more in another video. I've been uh, upgrading it and adding stuff to it. I should be able to use that soon. Anyway, I think that's enough for him. Let's just bring him across like this. And he's just going to, I'm going to try and make it straight as possible. Click stop and have a look. See what it looks like. So there he is walking across our screen here. And he's not even paying attention to the view. I guess he's been there so many times he's not really interested. And there you go there. Okay, now I'm just going to stop this for a second here. Now, if I want to make changes to him, I can just go to the timeline here. And we'll take him to about the middle. So I just scroll along the screen here. There it is. He's ready. 
And then you can go over to his sprites over here. In the sprite editor. And I want to go to his face. And I want to find his eye. So I just go down here, left eye. And I can have it close like that. I'll just move this over so you can see. And then what I can do is just move it over here. And it's like a wink. And then reopen his eye. Close this. Very easy to use this software, especially Cartoon Animator 4. And then let's have a look at that. So I just showed you, you can just do anything you want with this. Creating characters takes on average maybe 40 hours to do one character. By the time you draw them up and move his sprites or rig his sprites, it becomes quite challenging. Anyway, I just thought I'd show this new prop I made and just test it out here and show you a little basic animation in the software. If you want to make your own custom stuff, it's up to you, but it takes a little bit more time to complete animations. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll leave information on how to get this prop here in the description. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and join our community.